So now that you've designed and prototyped your app, you are ready to share that out. So a couple of ways to do that. One, if you click this icon, you get a device preview. So you can connect by a USB and then preview on an actual device, which is pretty cool. Next way, and we've kind of looked at this already, we can play through, but more than just playing through, I can also record what I've played through. So I can show the interaction, and then when I'm done, save that out, and that's just going to save out uh, as a file I could share or email, and it has all that interaction. Next you have the big blue share button. So I can share this document, this would be saving it to the cloud so I could access it on other devices or share with others to work on. This is great if you're working in a group setting. I can share for review. So update that link and this creates a public link but I'm the one who has control over who gets to see this. And just paste it in here. This is very similar to like a Google Doc that you would share. And so I can add comments and I can even place pins specifically targeting my comments. So you can have more than one person that comments and you can see when those comments are added the commenter's name will go in there. Next you have sharing for development. So this would be what you would share with your developers, your coders, and it looks a little bit different than the share for review. So with it, you see all of the screens linked in there. It shows all of those prototype interactions that we created, and it shows all the colors, all of the type styles, all of the interactions you built in, so that then the coder could work on creating from there. Finally, you can access all of your links, so if you needed to sort these, edit these, delete these, you can do that. And finally, record video, which we already looked at through the playback. So that's how you can share and get your prototypes reviewed.